Well, mm, mm, mm. Um, good morning and happy hump day. So, as you can see, I've only watched just under the first five minutes of this video. But I do find it kind of hilarious that this is her flight. Like, this is, this is what's happening to Eugenia right now. I can't even, you guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another video. Today, we are going to be catching up on all things Eugenia Cooney related. Mm -hmm. We are going to see what our best gal pal has been up to. We are going to check. And I don't know that I'm going to cover, like, the whole video. I'll probably just drop the link to Jordy. But the the beginning section is quite hilarious in on some clips and then discuss said clips so the big thing kind of going on with eugenia right now that i have seen going across the community is apparently when people are doing live stream battles with her on tiktok they're getting some error message. So whenever you interact with Eugenia on TikTok, people get warned about it. <laughs> I mean, look at this thumbnail. Look, look. are you sure you want to broadcast live with Eugenia Cooney? <laughs> oh Wait, whose channel is that? Because, like, I, surely she didn't put those types of thumbnails up herself, right? I mean, look at this thing. Look at her face. <laughs> so, yeah, whenever you do a live stream with Eugenia, you get this error message. And it tells you Eugenia Cooney's live addresses issues that could be uncomfortable for some people. If you join their live, your live will not be visible to some spectators, a.k.a. people under the age of 18. So oh, Eugenia no. is not allowed to live stream or monetize her content to people that have accounts registered I thought that was the only restriction to begin with. I know you're going to talk about her account being reinstated in May, but wasn't this the problem the entire time? Is that she couldn't battle, um, she couldn't do the battles anymore because she was age restricted. But she still had access to her account, as far as I know. Um, so, I don't know what the timeline is on this one, you guys. Uh, you know, of birthdays under the age of 18. So, this is kind of what we have been talking about when she goes live with Jeffrey. Basically, whenever she goes live with Jeffrey or anybody or does, you know, some type of battle with them, they get this message. And it's like, oh. Well, are you sure that you want to interact with this person? Because you're going to lose out on money. I mean, really, that's basically what this means. Are you sure that you want to battle with this person and lose out on monetizing the content where otherwise you could be getting money from uh, minors? Mm -mm. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what it has come to. Um, obviously, by the thumbnail here, um, she's pissed. She's disgusted. Um, she's annoyed that this comes up. I think for a while now, it's kind of just been Eugenia saying, oh, you know, I, I still have a flag on my account. I, I don't really know, but I'm going to try to get it covered up soon. I'm going to try to get it taken care of real soon. Now, like a whole ass warning comes up when you interact with Eugenia on here. Oh, yeah, she was doing so much work. She was trying to pretend to eat online she was trying to wear long sleeves trying to do more like quote bible quotes and stuff while she was ditching church <laughs> literally ditching church to use her mom's phone to pull up bible quotes wow girl oh my gosh um I don't even know what to say. Like, it's so fake. It's so ridiculous. Um, take care of yourself and stop trying to pretend that you're something that you're not.
Um, I don't think that she's too fond of this. I think that she just liked people knowing that there was something wrong, but didn't exactly know what was wrong. You know, Eugenia. Oh, yeah. She wanted to make everybody feel sorry for her that she had something happen to her account. But, oh, no, no, no. I love TikTok. I'm not going to say anything bad about TikTok. There's nothing wrong with TikTok. But at the same time, she was um, implying that uh, they were doing this to her. That they were putting down restrictions on her account without telling her what the problem was, right? Sorry about all the alerts. Uh, this is the update on my system. And so, basically, anybody who's walking a dog or jogging um, near my house gets uh, an alert now. She's a very vague person, so the more vague that she can keep it... I mean, this is pretty much concrete proof that people are realizing that Eugenia's lives are problematic, and TikTok has deemed it so. So, I mean, I don't know if this is going to affect her all that much or in terms of people wanting to go live with her because it kind of seems like she was already going live with people that didn't really mind about this to begin with. So, yeah. But they weren't doing battles. Come on, Jordy. No more battles. Again, I guess it just goes to show, I mean, Eugenia can no longer... Uh, be an influence on kids i mean yeah she did get her account back in may of this year after like a four or five month ban but she hasn't been able to monetize content directed toward little cindy or little brandon going and getting their mom's credit card out of her purse and hooking it up i think the book series when i was a kid was called dick and jane but okay to their TikTok account. So you can no longer see Eugenia Cooney dancing around on TikTok, getting out your credit card and, you know, doing what you want with it, setting her an acorn or... See dog go. See dog fetch. See dog starve themselves into oblivion. Oh my God, even a Galapagos tur turtle or whatever the fuck they do on TikTok now. So this is uh, kind of what is going around right now. A new warning coming up for associating with Eugenia. What do you mean I can't monetize the minors? Uh -oh. I started wearing cardigans. What do you mean I can't monetize to minors? I went to mm. Disney World like three fucking times. What do you mean I can't monetize to and I had I had uh, hotel workers come up and say nice things to me they're all so nice at Disney World that you know all of the hotel workers say such nice things to me all the time and I did have a couple of fans come up and want pictures okay girl Miners. I read Bible quotes off of my mom's cell phone. <laughs> what do you yeah. mean I can't monetize to minors? I'm friends with Jeffree Star. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to watch this little at interaction that Eugenia does with some person on TikTok where they realize what's going on. And uh, this is the first time that she realizes people are being warned when they associate with her. Okay. Um. Look. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I, I'm so sorry. I only speak English, so I don't really know. I don't know. I can't tell what that means. It's in Spanish. I can't. I, I have no idea. I have no clue what's going on. I can't. Eugenia. Eugenia, you know exactly what's going on with your account. You're pre you're playing stupid right now. Okay, all right. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's in a different language, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> right. right. Oh, I, I don't know what that says, so it doesn't apply to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's not your fault at all. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Right. It says no more. Bet she regrets making fun of that Mexican cheese right about now, huh? Uh, Why videos for you to follow? Wait, what does that mean? Um, wait, guys, he just, he just... Uh... So, Jordy was referencing how Musa said he was going to make, like, a Mexican steak for Jeffrey to try and make amends for why ever Jeffrey was mad at him or whatnot. And she misheard him and said, Jeffrey, do you want some Mexican cheese? Oh, God. She's so bad, you guys. She's so ignorant. She's so racist. She's uh, like, she, oh, for everybody who's like, oh, well, you know, she's just like the other ED channels. Dude, she has tried uh, to do these battles for a long time. And she's had at least two or three requests from Syrian refugees that she has refused. Why? Because Jeffrey told her they, they were scams? What difference does it make? It doesn't affect your pocketbook. So why don't you help these people out? Um, requesting me to battle? Are you stuck? Oh, it says I was talking about something inappropriate. What? Bien, sí. It's just a technical problem. Hey, guys, I don't know what that means. Oh, my God. No, no, no technical, no technical difficulties. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is not a technical difficulty. Well, guys, okay, well, guys, if this is two out of three, might have one more round. No fallas, ahora soy yo. So, I guess because Eugenia didn't understand it, she just didn't think that it mattered. <laughs> I guess not. But the person who created this video has taken the time to translate it into English, and this is what it says. So, I would imagine that Eugenia is aware of this now, um, but who knows? She may have brushed it off her shoulder and said, ah, oh, whatever. It's no, she's been aware because it's been coming up on several videos over the last few months she knows exactly what it is and she's playing dumb i i can't eugenia fucking take care of yourself and um stop with your bullshit some language i don't know so whatever <laughs> huh. i mean in all honesty i'm surprised that it has taken this long for a warning like this to show up to begin with i don't think that if no i think these warnings have been appearing for a while and that's why she didn't jump right back into doing stuff when she was trying to repair her image by going to disney world and getting the footage there and doing the fake eating videos where she's like, oh, I'm taking a bite. Not so much. You can't see me chewing. Right? Um, this is all part of the arc. And she already knew this was going on. You are live stream battling with someone on TikTok. You should be ignorant to the fact that the person that you are battling with is affecting your monetization. Okay. I think you should be warned about stuff like this. And the fact that there hasn't been a warning pop up for people before, I mean... There has, though. I, I'm fairly certain there has, Jordy. Uh, why? I mean, because honestly, TikTok is a business. Businesses exist to make money. These people are on here to make money. So if they're not being notified of the fact that they're losing out on money by interacting with other creators, then that's a problem, right? right? Mm -hmm. That's a problem. Yes. So I'm surprised that it has taken this long for a warning to pop up 
when people have gone to battle with Eugenia. And the fact now... I don't think it has. I think it's taken this long for somebody to screen cap it. ...that this new warning has popped up kind of suggests to me, I mean, I don't know, but kind of suggests to me that this little flag on her account isn't going anywhere. I think the fact that they let her back onto the platform at all was conditional. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll let you on and everything, but we're not allowing you to monetize the mon minors. And remember why that is. They don't want a lawsuit coming up in the future where somebody, you know, God forbid does something or something happens. She does look like a wounded animal, though, right? And um, the footage that you've got of her, she looks like a wounded animal. Like, she would strike out. I don't think she has the strength to strike out, but, but she does look like, you know, a wounded coyote or a raccoon or something happens to them and then tiktok gets blamed for it somehow through the lens of um corrupting minors something along the lines of that so mm -hmm. i'm telling you the 50 grand or whatever amount of money the 50 grand that they're making a month off of eugenia receiving gifts that pales into, you know, that pales in comparison to a seven-figure lawsuit that they could have two, three, four years from now. What's $300,000 that they make off of Eugenia if they're going to have to pay out millions in the future because they allowed someone with her content to be on here and monetize it? So, I mean, I definitely think this is this TikTok covering their back. What I'm surprised about is that they let her back on the platform at all. But I guess in a legal sense, it is beneficial for them to allow her to be back on the platform and allow people with accounts over the age of 18 to send her money because then they can still dip their hands into her pockets and take a sizable amount. Because Eugenia is a very large TikTok creator. I mean, she has millions of followers. She makes a lot of money. TikTok takes a large percentage of uh, revenue from their creators. Here on YouTube, I think it's like 70-30. So yeah. like, for example, if I get a $10 super chat on my live streams, I get to keep seven of the dollars. On TikTok, I'm pretty sure it's like the opposite. Like she would only get to keep three. So they definitely keep their claws into the profits of their creators. So... I guess in a sense, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely covering their back in a legal sense because they don't want to be held accountable in the future if they ever get blamed for some type of corrupting youth, uh, being like a source of ED platforming. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, they're going through the process of being um, – told that they have to sell their business to an American right now. Right? They already have enough problems going on. They really don't need the Eugenia problem. Um, they have to figure out what they're going to do with their entire uh, U.S. business at this point because Congress ruled in favor of making them uh, reject Chinese ownership so that the profile details, everything that you put in your profile and everything is not getting farmed out to China, right? So they already have that going on. And then on top of it, you got people like Eugenia out there who are causing additional legal liabilities for them. Okay, girl. 
exactly know the legal jargon or what exactly could be filed in the future in terms of a lawsuit. But the fact that they are that they are making it so she can't monetize the minors, 100 percent, no doubt in my mind, it is just TikTok trying to cover their own asses so that they don't have to deal with this in the future. Mm-hmm. OK, yeah, sure. You can come back on the platform. But you're only getting gifts from Gen X Renegade and Ollie All Blocks. You're only getting uh, gifts from, you know, these creepy old people. We're mm-hmm. not letting you monetize to Cindy and Brandon who have their mom's TikTok uh, credit card linked to their account. We're, no, no, no. We're not doing that because that could get us in trouble. Gen X Renegade and whoever they're – okay, sure, whatever. They can give you as much money as – this, kids, minors – And you know what? I'm telling you what, this is becoming more and more of a hot topic on social media, family vloggers, uh, you know, kids monetizing and stuff like that. Parents making money off of their kids, stuff like I'm telling you, there's going to be laws in the future that's going to be they're, they're going to protect from this kind of stuff. And TikTok is a big enough company and they're smart enough to know that this is what is coming in the next uh, half decade, whatever. Well, and they have the most pressure on them so they are going to be the the trend sender trend setter in this legislation because they're getting the most pressure on them so anything that happens with tiktok is going to trickle over to facebook youtube um, instagram all of them basically it's going to be like, look, look at this cranky ass bitch who um, is trying to corrupt children. <laughs> I can't, can't, you guys. Her face in that uh, screen cap is so great. It's so good. For however many years it's coming. I'm telling you, all those people out there that film their kids and put it on there for. It's coming. It's coming. So they are preparing years in advance for people like Eugenia and people like, you know, other types of content creators who have this problematic type of content that has a direct influence on kids. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as this stuff gets banned, I'm telling you, there's going to be lawsuits out the wazoo. Yep. All this family vlogger stuff, all you see with like Doherty Dozen and all these other people, it's coming. It's coming. And they're starting soon with, uh, you know, stuff like this. They don't want Eugenia on here in a one piece using skeletons as barbells to do her little 80s workout mock video. They don't want that. Mm -mm. If she wants to come on here and she wants to do makeup and she wants to walk around Disney and she wants to live stream battle against other adults, that's one thing. Kids? It's starting to become more and more prevalent in the legal system. I'm telling you, that's what this is. Yeah. So now I want to take a look at a reaction that someone has had when they got on live with Eugenia and they were notified of this. They're Uh totally free. Oh, guys, let's say hi to Dylan and... (laughs) What's up, Eugenia? Hi, Eugenia. Eugenia said you're being naughty. Hi, Trey. Hi, nice to meet you. I've seen Hi, you on YouTube. You. I've seen I you on YouTube. You are not as naughty as things might look. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it just told me you're super naughty. Oh no, I don't think I'm. I don't. I don't think I'm that naughty, but, but like, it's just TikTok. <laughs> I can tell that she doesn't like being called out like this because prior to this warning coming up about her, it has kind of just been her saying, oh, yeah, there's like a flag on my account. I don't really know what it is or what it says or what it does. But now it's like everybody gets notified of this. I mean, I bet you that there were some people going live with her and some people battling with her that they didn't even know that this was a thing. Mm -hmm. Now that they're being notified. (sighs) Hmm. So, I mean, obviously she's trying to laugh it off here, but I can tell that she is very uncomfortable that this is coming up on her page now. Okay, moving right along, we are now going to watch a recently uploaded TikTok from... All right, I'm going to stop it here. I will drop the link to Jordy's whole video if you want to watch it. 
But oh my god, Eugenia. <sighs> How many people need to tell you that you have to fix yourself? Because what you're doing to yourself is Karen Carpenter level crap. I don't know what to tell you, girl. I don't know what to tell you. 